Hello, hello. Hi, guys. My name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. I had to do a part two to my Virgo ladies because I did not like that we had all that masculine, funny energy. So, I love my Virgo ladies. You guys are hardworking, dedicated. You guys sacrifice. A lot of my, I got a lot of Virgo clients, and my Virgo lady clients are always, always hung up on someone love or not and they're like oh you know what about my man what about, I'm, am i doing this right and they just are so 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 in their head about the relationships and i thought that they deserve to have a reading that really reflect them and their romantic periods and their growth so without further ado we're going to do part two to a virgo lady um if you like this video please like share and subscribe so i want to focus on my virgo women y'all getting y'all back I heard ching ching. Okay. Lovers. Ooh, reverse coming out, Virgo ladies. Lovers. Somebody is in your relationship interfering with shit. Or you got your heart don't match your head about none of these people you're dealing with. Or you're dealing with a Gemini. The Gemini is cheating on you. They're lying to you. Could be Gemini moon or rising sun. Somebody ass is lying. Third party energy. Gemini already is two people, so it could be multiple people with Gemini, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a Gemini, but somebody asks your love life, if someone's doing something highly unethical in the matters of love, the page, now someone, the page of wands is a person who relinquishes their power, and they're no longer that fiery page that people would expect, they kind of now are the submissive type. The page of wands is a person who they give a lot to people, and they're not very yielding. They don't know their limits. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And that's a, that's why they're a page. They're the page because they haven't learned to, you know, to draw that line. And in reverse, now they're giving all their power and fire to people who don't deserve it. The sun is about a loss. It can also be about... Um, People that feel like they should have been somewhere further along than they should have. Um, the sun is about drama queen attitudes. Maybe they feel like the reason why they're not in a good relationship is because they made a lot of dumb decisions and now they feel like they are dealing with um, third-party situations because they didn't get a chance to wise up. Let's see what lovers is. What is lovers for Virgo end of November? What is lovers reversed for end of November? What is three wands popping up? What is lovers reversed? We're gonna put that back in there though. Wait till it falls out formally, you know? What is lovers reversed? For our Virgo friends. Okay, that is better. The King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So you guys could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Capricorn, Gemini. Um, Libra, um, uh, the King of Swords can also be, um, Leo and Cancer. <coughs> I swear, I'm sorry, y'all. My voice will be through. I'll be coughing and hacking. I don't mean to do that. Okay. You are in a relationship with someone that is malicious to you. They're very mean or cold-hearted or they lie. They are a malicious liar. This person does not care about you. And you, you love this person, but your mind is like, nah. And then they in the third party relationship because love, why is the king of swords reversed? We just, we ain't even, we ain't gonna even assume about that. Why is the king of swords reversed? You gotta have a reason why he came up inverted. Why does the king of swords come up inverted? Come on now. Why would the king of swords come up inverted? Will of Fortune and High Priestess. Okay, so somebody had a secret, and it really didn't. Somebody else had a secret, a secret mistress, secret baby mama, somebody. Whatever was revealed was revealed so fucked up that it threw this person off guard, or they felt completely like their wheel of luck was not on their side. And that's why they reversed. Some type of bad secret. Because the real world of fortune is like something that has... What is the world of fortune reverse? That's a very double Jupiter negative. Ooh. Okay, this one. Queen of Cups. Somebody... Yeah, somebody... Somebody has something 
end very badly with a baby mom or a wife. Someone that they thought was loving and tender and was manipulative and crafty. So somebody adds. And then the two of swords, they got a decision to make about this woman. Um, yeah, somebody is, mm -mm, somebody got kids with somebody. I see Six of Cups speaking out. See that? Somebody wishes that they never had Nine of Cups. They turned down their cup after the love was over. They're like, shoo, nope, nope, nope. So somebody asked, don't want kids. Or this can be someone doesn't want to go back in the past. Someone has their feelings or emotions about their past or their relationship. Somebody asked. That's at the bottom of the deck. So somebody asked, made a decision. What is the high priestess reverse? Let's see. That is right over here. That's interesting, isn't it? What is the high priestess reverse? Okay, now first, two cards. Seven of swords and the moon. Yeah, so this is somebody's mama. The moon is cancer, but the moon is about working things out with a woman that's delusional or crazy. The moon can also be about um, risks that you don't take, very highly volatile relationships that need some explanations. The moon can also be about deluding yourself or pretending to be someone else or pretending some lie, a liar. That's what that is, a lie. Seven of swords, a mo another motherfucking lie. Now, the seven of swords is coming clean. That's apologizing about a lie about a woman. Maybe a baby mama or a girlfriend. <sighs> Y'all, I'm, I'm at my these neighborhood kids in the background. Don't mind them. They just playing. <laughs> Some of y'all got kids at home. So, seven of swords is definitely about someone apologizing for a lie. A lie. That's what that is. What's seven of swords? Reverse. They got caught. Page of Swords, yeah, somebody was fine, and they, they found out some shit, Five of Cups, they feel really regretful about that shit, they wish they could do that over, what is anything else for Virgo, what's that sun card reverse, what's that sun card, let me get into that, um, the sun card is a heartbreak, so someone could be upset, or they feel like, um, this relationship should have, or they're afraid of a loss, they're afraid of a heartbreak, they're afraid of relationship ending. Someone is really putting their mind into work and not really focusing on anything heart-related. They have neglected friendships, they have neglected personal relationships, they have neglected everybody to pretty much focus. There you go. And the Seven of Wands, that's about a person who, again, um... The Seven of Wands is someone that is guarded or they're confused on how to deal with the relationship. So someone um, is definitely missing what they thought would have been a very good relationship or a very good son. Yeah, someone was contemplating on cheating on a relationship or this could be about an epiphany. Um, but anyway, that's for some of you guys. Some cards are pop up out no, some cards I don't. Yeah, someone is someone is very um, heartbroken or regretful. Someone made a decision. Um, someone is um, someone is broke up with someone because someone is financially dependent on someone else. The nine of pentacles can be about someone financially dependent, or the regret being financially dependent on someone. The seven of wands is like they don't know how to get out of the situation, whether they're neglecting people or they're, they're finding. What's, what's nine of pentacles? Regret? <coughs> Someone sleeping on somebody. Couch the nine of pentacles. Eight of wands could be about an affair. It could be about rashness, decisions that they didn't mean to, or affairs. People can be traveling and fucking. Um, two of cups can be about mutual distrust, and the king of wands is someone just very attractive. The two of cups and the king of wands is a cheater. <laughs> I'm sorry. They have secret relationships or secret dealings, and the eight of wands is they threw an arrow and didn't even know it was going to land in the right space and just threw it. And now, this could be someone you're not talking to, too. The Eight of Wands are verse. Eight of Wands are bright. It's someone talking to you. They're not talking to you. This, the relationship's over. They broke up with you. And maybe it's forever. Maybe it's not. Or they regret something. Um, but the, the Nine of Pentacles is saying in regards to the Two of Cups, um, someone is made a very big error or there was a very big indiscretion um, someone either was financially dependent or someone is neglecting a relationship. And there is a mutual distrust. What is Eight of Wands reverse? Are they not talking or is it something that was trash? Okay, y'all want to flip. 
also be about someone wants to come back and I don't like the title card reverse because that's not official. Hell no. What is the title card in the world reverse? I don't like that. Ace of Cups and Five. Somebody's a rebound. Somebody's a rebound. Somebody's a rebound. Somebody is cheating. Somebody is somebody Ace of Cups is promiscuity or a pregnancy. Somebody got somebody pregnant on a rebound or somebody somebody was drinking? Because the Ace of Cups is not collecting any blood. It's somebody pregnant. Could be about a rebound pregnancy. Or someone is with someone until they get better. Um, that's what I got. You guys let me know how you guys feel. You know, Tarot's energy, so it could be a little bit about you. It could be someone else. Yeah, someone is very, uh, someone is sitting at home thinking, like, about their dating life. Like, it is not what I want it to be. I want to scrap all this shit. And what should Virgo do? Ladies, what should you do? The devil and the seven of cups. You don't trust none of this shit. You squandering your energy. Let it go. The devil is about breaking free and releasing. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, you are done. You are tired of being... Yeah, you're hanging, you, you burnt out. Your wish is to see things differently, shake things up. You're burnt out. You are hurt about what happened to you with these relationships and nine of cups, your wish. You want something different. And the hangman is you're going to deeply reflect and shake up and get rid of all the trash at your door and make room for the treasure. Alright guys, thank you for joining my reading, and if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!